Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Scorpio. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So uh, we are to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for uh, September. And then we'll finish off three to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio here. Energy check-in for Scorpio for September 2024 for Scorpio. So we have walking away. You know, I feel like you guys are stepping into a new life here. You know, I feel like you guys are walking away from anything or anybody that's no longer serving your purpose in your life here, okay? I mean, I also feel like, you know, with walking away, you know, some of you guys could be leaving your home, you know, leaving the home that you maybe grew up in. And you guys could be moving to a different town, different city, different state, different country, different continent, all right? So let's see what else we have here. You know, I feel like this walking away or stepping into this new place, you know, I feel like, you know, you guys could be feeling this, like this really just this healing energy here, you know. Um, so I feel like, you know, this walking away uh, it, uh, is giving you the opportunities to seek out new opportunities in life here. Okay, and one of the things I'm also getting here is I feel like if you do, you know, take that step to move, to walk away from something here, I do feel like there could be new love that's coming into your life here. Okay, one of the things I'm getting here, you could be coming to a realization that wherever you live right now, your person that you're meant to be with is not there. This person's somewhere else. Okay, so man holding a heart. Let's see what else we have here for Scorpio. What else do we have for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? Look out for work on for September 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be in any of your placements, you guys. Okay. With the Nine of Cups, perhaps maybe this is the best decision that you could have made for yourself or that you're making for yourself here. Okay, because it's leading towards your happiness and fulfillment here. And I feel like your wishes are coming true here too, because I do feel like this place that you're moving to is bringing in very positive and abundant energy into your life here. You guys are really tapped into this land here. What is it? What is that called? Astral topography? I think that it's called, that it's called basically, you know, uh, through your birth chart. You know, it tells you which place, like what places in the world you could live where you could thrive in, you know? And then there, and they'll let you know that there are certain places that you shouldn't be in. But I feel like, you know, moving wherever you guys are going here, I just feel like you guys are really tapped into that energy, tapped into land here. Okay, with the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. Tell me about, uh, tell me more about Scorpio. We have the Tower, Airy Scorpio energy. And we have the Strength card here. I do feel like this is positive changes here you know, a positive shift in your energy. Because I feel like you guys are, you know, exuding or radiating some sort of healing energy here or some sort of like strength and power here, okay? The tower, uh, Aries, Scorpio, the strength card, Leo energy. What else do we have here for Scorpio? We have the five of wands and the 10 of cups here. Interesting. This is actually under man holding a heart here. I do feel like you guys will find commitment and marriage here in the new relationship. 
But I do feel like, you, you know, the person that you might be meeting here, you guys might be complete polar opposites and stuff like that. But I also feel like there's going to be commitment and loyalty between you and your person here. Okay. I do believe that this person does have good morals, you know, good values here. And I do feel like this is meant to happen. This is all happening in divine timing here. And look at this. This Ten of Cups kind of looks like the Wheel of Fortune here. This one. Okay, so I feel like you're you're meant to find the person that you're meant to be with here. But, you know, obviously no one's perfect, you know. People, you know, come with flaws and stuff like that. People come with baggage. But I see you guys actually being becoming successful in this relationship here. Okay, so, um, I mean, this person that you're meeting, I mean, this person could be an Aries or a Taurus here. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Um, but it could be anybody. Tell me about uh, the strength card here. Why is the strength card here? We have the four of swords. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? And we have the moon card. Mm. This is really interesting. You guys are really tapped into your intuition at this time. You know, with the four of swords here. <coughs> you guys could be having outer body experiences and also kind of like astral traveling here too. Yeah, but I feel like you guys could be accessing the astral travel through meditation here. Okay? Through meditations here. So I feel like also with the adjacent possibilities here, some of you guys could really just be exploring your gifts and connecting to your gifts at this time here. Okay? So I'm with the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? The High Priestess and the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and also the Four of Pentacles, okay? You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like there's a major focus on yourself at this time. You know, I feel like with the Ace of Wands here, yeah, you are taking your life in a new di direction here. But I also feel like you're trying to be selfish in a very healthy way here where you're not running around hurting other people. Okay, um, but you know, I feel like with the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles, you know, it could be a situation that you have very little here. You know, you could be carrying very little, you know, with the clothes behind your back and stuff like that, you know, with the bag. But I feel like you guys are really appreciative of what you guys have or the opportunities that are coming towards you at this time. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? Look out for. Well, we have the star card here. Aquarius energy and also the two of wands here. I do believe that this is the best decision that you have made for yourself here because I feel like it's leading you towards a path of, you know, your life's purpose here too. You know, some of you guys could have been feeling like energetic blockages here too in the place that you're living here, you know, but if there's a move happening here, I do feel like slowly that energetic block that you have been experiencing here will be slowly alleviated here, uh, uh, Scorpio, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is the best decision that you could make for yourself. We have the lover's card here, Gemini energy. I feel like, you know, if you feel like you have not been very productive, I feel like you will become more productive here. You know, I feel like you will start doing more things here, you know. Uh, I feel like you might be in this energy of just really uh, perhaps tapping into your cre creativity and becoming more creative here. But there's a sense of feeling grounded here, you know. There's a sense of feeling peaceful, you know. There's a sense of finding happiness and bliss. So, you know, there is, I do feel like there is a move that's happening here. I do feel like, you know, you guys will reach some sort of financial abundance here too, because I feel like there was some sort of blockages uh, in the area or in the place that you're living here, and I feel like it's been becoming unblocked, all right? So, um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.